Hi guys, it's Noah from Tata Sol with another video for you about five things I learned about stitching on shoes. You guys, stitching on shoes is hard. Well, I thought I'm just going to stitch on shoes and it's going to be adorable and cute, but you know what? It's kind of hard. You need to know a few things and now I know them. And I learned a lot about stitching on shoes and I wanted to share all the things I learned with you. This is part one. Part two is going to be a real video. <laughs> um, a, a, an embroidery tutorial on how to stitch the pattern, this um, very cute tropical pattern you see here. And this is leading me to the first thing I learned which is choose the pattern according to the shoe. There are lots of embroidery patterns out there, but most of them are fitting for a circled hoop. And this is very much not <laughs> your regular embroidery. You need to choose a pattern that have small elements that you can choose from, and then you can um, uh, choose only a few of them and maybe create your own kind of pattern on the shoe and also something that has maybe um, more of a free design like you see here something that you can stitch only half of it or leave some of the elements out and this will be much easier for you this pattern uh, available in my shop and you can also find there more uh, special shapes to stitch that will fit shoes um, for example the sides of the shoe only the top part the front like you can see here and also uh, the back of the shoe but before that and um, to know where you can stitch on your shoe you need to study the shoe before stitching and that is the second thing I learned and it sounds a little bit silly to study a shoe but I ordered these shoes online and then before I got them I already um, drew the pattern and when I got them I thought it's going to be so easy to stitch on because it's a fabric shoe but it's not <laughs> well it is but the first thing is that on the front of the shoe, um, on the um, inside part, this is why you can't see here and this is why I thought it's going to be easy, but in the inside, at the end of the shoe where your toes are, they put some kind of glue. I assume it's to keep water from getting in and also to keep the structure of the shoe but it's so hard to stitch through. I couldn't do it. I tried and you will see me in the end of the video uh, stitching with a plier, but it's hard and not worth it. And I had to stop and take everything out <laughs> and it was very frustrating. So study the shoe, see where you can stitch, where is it going to be comfortable to stitch on. Um, you can stitch again on the back, on the front, on the sides, wherever. Maybe you got a shoe that have lace um, and then you can only stitch on the sides. Maybe you just want to add a few details um, on the hem of the uh, shoe. I don't know, you can be creative. Next thing I learned is that you probably should have options to transfer the pattern. And that is the next step, to transfer your pattern to the shoe. And I didn't thought it will be... <laughs> I didn't thought it will be an issue, but apparently, maybe it's only in good shoes, like the beautiful shoe I bought, which is a nightmare to stitch on, but she is pretty cute. Um, they put some kind of... Maybe, maybe it's a spray or something they put on top of the fabric again to make it water resistant or maybe it's just because the fabric is synthetic and not cotton like I thought. The um, few methods I used to transfer the pattern just didn't work. The first one is 
uh, I use the um, uh, iron on pen. You trace your pattern with the pen and then you flip it over the fabric, in, in this case the shoe, and then you go over it with, a, with an iron and you just iron it and everything you trace with the pen should transfer to the fabric. And I tried it on cotton and it worked, um, even though my pen was a little bit old, but I never used it before this shoe but it was a little bit old so I thought maybe it's dried out but it did work a um, couple of minutes before I tried it on the shoe but on the shoe it didn't work like nothing transferred so that led me to the next option to transfer the pattern to the shoe which is um it's like I, I remember using it uh, when I was a kid, it's like a carbon sheet and you put um, the carbon side on the shoe and you put your pattern over it and then you trace it with a pen or a pencil and everything you will trace will transfer to the shoe. And yet again, it didn't work. Something about this shoe <laughs> was really um, hard and nothing worked. <laughs> But it's a good thing because I learned a lot and even though I'm a professional in embroidery, um, you learn new things every day and that's okay. So I tried the third option, it's water fuzzable interfacing and I just um, traced my pattern to this um, interfacing. You just put the pattern beneath it and trace everything with a pen and then you can take this uh, fuzzable uh, sheet and you put it over the shoe and you just stitch over it and when you're done you can uh, put it under water and everything will dissolve it's like magic i love it it's very uh, fun to use when you're stitching on clothes and it was very good idea because I had the pattern to stitch on and I will use this method again when I will stitch on the shoe again I will succeed <laughs> okay fourth thing I learned is to have multiple needles and it's kind of a funny one because I didn't thought I would need so many kind of needle needles before I started but it really helped me because on the shoe it's not like a regular surface to stitch on like a shirt or like a regular hoop you have lots of curves and places you can't reach and for those places I used a long needle and for um, a thick places I used a thin needle so it really helped me and I do have lots kinds of needles at home again because I'm a professional uh, embroidery maker but even if you have only one or two it will be enough you don't have to um, prepare ahead but if you do have it will help you like you can see here I'm stitching with long needle and I'm holding a plier to try and get to the end of the shoe but the fabric was just too thick and it had this glue beneath it and it was horrible to stitch through but we've got it we'll have the next video um, and we can do this <laughs> so the last thing I learned and this this is kind of an important one and if you want me to elaborate and give more options and examples let me know in the comments maybe I'll do another video just for that but it's how to make adjustments to a pattern when you're stitching on a shoe and for anything you stitch on you can stitch on a hat on a backpack and sometimes you need to modify the design um, to fit the object you stitch on so here um, it really helped me that I choose this option for the transfer of the pattern because I kind of had like a paper it's not a paper it's some kind of a fabric this uh, interfacing but I could just go over with a pen over it and not worry 
that it will uh, leave stains or I would have to stitch every little thing I'm marking because everything will dissolve in water later. So I use that to go over um, the real um, outline of the shoe and then you I think you can do it if you want to add a few more leaves like I did in the top a little flower just to add to the spots that uh, doesn't have the pattern can't reach them uh, because it's not long enough because shoes can be in all kinds of sizes in all kinds of shapes and it's not that hard to modify this pattern because if you uh, go to my shop you can see I made more options um, maybe I already said that in the video I'm sorry but I will mention it again um, I made more shapes for the sides of the shoe for the back for the front for a smaller shoe and I think it will really be helpful for you if you plan to <laughs> be brave and stitch on shoes. I'm kidding, it's not that hard. I will make another video to show you um, how I take all the things I learned and now you learn them too because you watch the video to the end. <laughs> and thank you so much for sticking through. And, and you can do it too. So, thank you so much for watching. Those were my five things I learned while stitching on shoes. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to check out all my videos and tutorials. And you can also uh, check out my site. I have lots of embroidery kits that are perfect for beginners and also patterns you can download immediately to any device. And you know what? I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.